This E squared M and Polytron case study comes from one of the best known electronics manufacturers in the world. The client was constructing a brand new assembly line with some interesting and challenging variables. Building a greenfield manufacturing and packaging plant can be exciting. But this was no ordinary company and it was no ordinary plant. Every inch of the plant was custom with five different work cells, including parts picking, assembly and testing, an automated storage and retrieval system, packaging, and finally distribution. The entire plant was to be specified, bid, built out, and commissioned by five separate suppliers. Using E squared M and Polytron's unique approach, which incorporates the use of our proprietary simulation and analysis tools, the client was able to avoid schedule delays and significant cost overruns. The manufacturer had a lofty objective of making nearly a thousand units per hour, more than they had made on any other line. In addition, the system had to be ultimately flexible, able to build nearly any product that they sold. On top of that, order quantities could vary from one to over a hundred. Even though the cells were supposed to be integrated, the manufacturer just wasn't sure how well they would work together, how product would flow, and what the load balancing between the cells needed to be. Seasonality also played a major factor. The operating schedule could change drastically from week to week. They needed to know how staffing the line would impact their ability to meet the orders. Distribution had an even taller order. They had to move nearly double the amount of the product that was being produced by this new system. The rest of it coming from two other lines already in production. The solution was simple enough. Come up with a great design. Well, come up with the right design. The team was counting on the use of E squared M Polytron's analysis, simulation, emulation, and diagnostic tools and processes to dissect these complex systems and variables and then create an accurate representation of the plant that was both easy to understand and as flexible as the system would be. In effect, our job was to build the plant before it was built and then test it in all of the real world conditions. E squared M Polytron actually built the completed line in a virtual environment. Our first step in this process is to understand the factors that drive the solution. We worked with the client to uncover and define all of these factors, including production forecasts and history, product mix predictions, staffing plans, and order quantities. The team also pulled together all of the detailed information for each of the work cells. The suppliers had preliminary designs that needed to be tested, both individually and as an integrated system. Finally, we created a model that represented not only the design, but the operating parameters as well. This model needed to represent both the production requirements as well as provide a way for the team to modify them. The team needed reassurance that nearly any possible production scenario could be tested. And in order to accomplish this, all of the current and forecasted data was available in the model's interface. The result? Simple but critical design adjustments that avoided the common problems of an untested solution. By replicating the entire plant to scale and under real world plant floor conditions and modeling all of its functions, we were able to understand all of the performance data complete a capacity analysis, and perform all of the other relevant systems assessments. As the team progressed through each analysis, it was becoming clear. The specifications for two of the work cells would prevent them from meeting their goals and had to be adjusted. They all agreed that the system, as designed, wouldn't meet the business's objectives for this new system. One work cell was over capacity while another was under. When the right adjustments were determined, the team decided to verify them before going back to the suppliers. The model was modified according to these new specs 
and the production scenarios were tested again. The updated results showed that the new design parameters would support the overall business objectives. The team successfully avoided what could have been significant cost overruns and schedule delays. Now, plant construction could begin. Please contact us to discuss a problem that you may be having in your operating system. You can know with certainty that you have not only a solution, but the best solution for your system.